Acts chapter 2, verses 40. Let's all read this from verse 40 to verse 47. Are you ready? And with many other words, the Bible says, He, that is Peter, testified and exhorted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now, all who believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. I want to speak to us today about being a generous church. I want to say to you that I'm not just talking about money. Okay? This generosity that I want to talk about is not just a structure. It's not just a system. It's not just some, it's not just a strategy. I want to speak today, by the grace of God, the spirit of generosity. Gener generosity is a spirit. And is a spirit that we as X Church must have if we want to see some of these wonderful, amazing breakthroughs take place in our lives, individually as well as a church. Okay? So let me just give you, a, or quickly paint to you, the picture of completion. Uh, how, does, uh, how, how, does, how does this look like uh, as a complete picture? What is in the mind of God? What is the will of God uh, for us? Okay? Now, it started with communication. I'm going to give you very quickly all in C's. Is that right? Communication. Uh, Peter preached the gospel in boldness with the power of the Holy Spirit. Agreed? Okay, so communicating the message. But it doesn't stop there. The next thing we see is conviction. True? The people's hearts were convicted. And then that led to what? Conversion. If you agree, say amen. Conversion. But it doesn't stop there. Many people think it stops there. So they say the sinner's prayer and then they live on their lives. No, that's not how it works. The next C is this big word, church. We begin to be part of a church. We know how a church lives. We do church life. And this is where you find in Acts 2.42, and they continue steadfastly, they, not just he or she, they, we, continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Church. But really, some churches don't move on to become community. Very important scripture there says, and they all were together. Verse 44 says, those who believed were together and had all things in common. Very, very important. Doesn't mean just because you are a church, you have all things in common. My vision for this church God has given me is that this church, Acts Church, will be a generous church. But before we can be a generous church, we have to share the same values. If you are married and you say, my vision is to have a wonderful marriage, well, you, you, you will achieve a wonderful marriage if both husband and wife share the same values. If one likes to come to church, the other one doesn't like to, it won't be great. If one, one likes to serve God and the other, the other one doesn't like to, it won't be fantastic. Values are important. So this is where the scripture is very clear. They were all together and had all things in common. The word common is where you get community. A community shares things in common. That's why there's power in communion. Because communion is common union. And though we come, come from different backgrounds, different uh, skin color, 
different uh, upbringing, we all have one thing in common when we take communion. And that brings us together. And who brings us together? Jesus. Because it says when you take communion, remember Him. And proclaim Him. So when we take communion, hallelujah, we are together. We put aside all our differences. We learn to forgive. We learn to forget like Jesus did on the cross. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And what happens? We become one. And there is power in becoming one. Immediately in verse 45, right after you find community, you find charity. The first thing that came out of their common value, or their common values, the first thing that came out of them being one was their giving, friends. Listen to me very carefully. This is the early church. This is the church in revival. This is the church where, you know, the people who led them did not go to Bible school. And did not say, my professor said. They only had God. So the fingerprint was not the fingerprint of man. The fingerprint was the fingerprint of the Holy Spirit. You want to go back to the original? Go back to this because this was untainted. Unadulterated. This was pure. God's plan. God's will. This is it. This is it. After community comes charity. And they did things that the world did not understand. The world did not teach. Because the world works on a different spirit. The spirit of get, 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 get. Me, 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 me. It's not Morse code. It's just the world, the, the way the world works. And that's why we keep robbing from each other instead of giving to each other. Uh, but I tell you, I want to tell you a few things about uh, the power of generosity today. Okay, after charity, of course, you realize that the charity was so amazing, it was so different, that they caught everybody's attention. How would you like to be a church that catches everybody's attention? In Subang, in Sunway, in, in Slango, in, 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 uh, in Malaysia, and uttermost parts of the earth, you know? Uh, the, because people can't see it in their offices. Everybody is for themselves. They can't see it in their neighborhood. They can't see it in their local council. They can't see it in their government. Uh, 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 they, 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 but they need to see it in the church. They need to see in the house of God that we work in an in, in a, in a opposite spirit to the world. And because the church arose, and that time before that, there was no church. So it was new. So the, the church came up and, and after they found Christ and they were converted and they became a church and they studied the word, it just flowed out of them. You know, while I'll tell you why. I'll tell you, and, and, and maybe I'll repeat it, but I'll tell you now, because God is a generous God. So it flows out of God. And, 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 and the people became the people of God. That's why they were called Christians. Because they became followers of Christ. There was no other name for them. They could see Christ in them. Are you with me, friends? But what really is the difference is our giving. Serious. What, you mean the people outside there can't sing? Is it just our singing? You mean the best musicians are only here in the church? No, no, no. There are also good musicians out there. So what is the real difference? The difference is what flows out of the heart of God into His body. That's what the church is. The body flow out this generosity, this charity that is not because we want our name on a plaque, because we want tax breaks. Okay? And, 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 and when they caught the people's attention, then came the message again. They communicated the message and then it repeated itself again. God added daily to the church those who were being saved. People were convicted. People were converted and so on, so forth. The, the church grew bigger. Community, charity, so on, so forth. This is the will of God. This is the cycle. This is the complete picture. But I tell you, I want to speak to you about the spirit of generosity, the spirit of charity, because it's powerful. 